fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Deluxe Class Scrap Hook from the Transformers Legacy Evolution line from Hasbro. Now this is our first junkie on for Evolution. They kind of act as the weaponizers for this line. Uh, very similar to what we saw back in Siege and, and Earthrise and such. Uh, they have the ability to come apart and become like different various weapons and things for other characters. And also they kind of want to kind of push the play pattern where the more Junkions you buy, you can kind of take them apart and kit bash your own robot modes and vehicle modes and things like that, which is kind of a neat idea. Uh, packaging pretty standard here for Evolution. Some nice artwork of the vehicle mode here on the front. And then we have some nice artwork of the robot mode over here on the side. Over here we have one half of the picture for uh, Evolution this year. Not really too much going on on the bottom. Up top here we just have the QR code for the tech specs. And if we spin around to the side you can see how we have some product shots of the robot mode and the vehicle mode. And then they have him disassembled into his components. And then they show clipping them on as armor onto Hotshot here. Which is pretty cool. So again, just like the weaponizers, they can kind of come apart and become various armor pieces, which looks kind of neat. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get Scrap Hook out of the packaging here, and we'll take a closer look. Here is Scrap Hook out of the packaging. I think he looks fantastic. They did a really nice job with this guy. Doesn't even really have much kibble. He just has these like car doors that fold up nicely on the back. Great color scheme, very indicative of the Junkions. I love the head sculpt. He's got an eye patch. And I know the arms kind of cast shadow, so I'm just going to take them off temporarily. He's got an eye patch there. He's got a little goatee. Really, really cool. I love that head sculpt. Head can turn from side to side. Really nice Autobot symbol here on the front. You have a waist swivel. You have really nice movement here in the hips. Kick all the way out to the side as well. Now, I don't believe he has a thigh swivel. I know it kind of looks like he does, but I believe that's all one molded piece. Instead, you can turn it down here uh, right below the knee. I guess technically right above the knee. But these pieces also can come off. And then down here, you have really nice ankle tilt. You have some front to back as well because of transformation. So really nice movement down there in the ankle. Now, let me put the arms back on. You can see that they are just pegged in there on the side and then you have a hinge there as well as a rotation of course you have a bicep swivel and then you have kind of like a double jointed elbow now it's a little loose on mine unfortunately um i think it'll be fine but you do kind of have like a double jointed elbow there and then you have a wrist rotation as well so let me put his other arm back on but yeah he's a really cool looking figure i like him a lot he comes with a bunch of accessories. So he's got this kind of spiked shield here, which you can go ahead and peg onto the side of his arm. He's got these two pieces. Um, where's the other one? Here it is. So I guess these are meant to be like guns of some kind. So you can have characters hold these and use them as guns. If you want to store them somewhere, they actually peg in right here on the shins. And they just blend completely, completely seamlessly into the legs. So if you just want to leave them down there, I kind of just like to leave them pegged in. I think it looks better with a fuller leg. And I don't really need him to have more guns. Um, but if you want him to use them as guns, or any other character for that matter, to use them as guns, you can. Or you can store them right there on the legs. He's got these two pieces. Uh, kind of remind me of like something Hot Rod would have. <laughs> There's the big smokestacks there. They want you to peg these in to the wheels here. So we can do that. And then he's got this like little, uh, you know, towing crane assembly here. If you want him to just use this, uh, you know, if you wanted to peg this in almost as like a hook hand or something like that, you could do that. Unfortunately, you can't like pop the, the hand off and replace it with a hook hand, but you could have him hold it. Or you can just take this whole thing and peg this here onto the side of the arm. Something like that. So he's got a lot of cool accessories. You could definitely trick him out. I like him quite a bit. Let's go ahead and get into transformation. All right, so one of the cool things about Scrap Hook is you don't actually have to take him apart to transform him like many of the other weaponizers. I am gonna remove the accessories though uh, because they'll peg into different spots. So I guess you have to take a few things off, but it's not like the other weaponizers where I have to take the legs off and then peg them in somewhere else like he can stay as a robot and transform directly into the vehicle mode the only thing i'm going to do is take these off 
and switch these around so that they actually go around the wheels over here. So we'll peg this in, and it's kind of neat. There's kind of like a tiny little notch. You can kind of see right there where when you peg these all the way in, they kind of sit into each other like that. So just make sure that those are pegged all the way in. And then we'll come over here and do the same thing with this one. So that's where they're going to go in vehicle mode. Now the directions also show if you want to just leave them like this in robot mode, you certainly can do that as well. But that's definitely where they're going to go for vehicle mode. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, grab a hold of these pieces here, the kind of brown pieces near the head. You can see they're on a hinge and we want to pop them out. Now the arms probably will fall off at some point during this transformation. I think they're just a little loose on mine. They like to fall out of the pegs a lot. If you want to take them off for now and, and put them somewhere else, you can, but you can of course leave them on the whole time. This section will fold down like this, and then you can come back here and open up these door panels. This will allow this entire head section to rotate back in like that. And then you can just make sure the arms are kind of out of the way. You want to rotate him at the waist 180 degrees like so. And then you're going to fold this down and fill in the roof of the car there. So now we want to spin the arms, get them out of the way, come down to the legs. You're going to uh, fold these pieces up like this to fill in that front kind of cow catcher section. If you don't have these pieces pegged in already, you should probably go ahead and do that at this point just to fill that out, to fill out the uh, hood of the car. And then you can peg this all together like so, and then bring this up and this will fit in right there. It doesn't really peg in there, it just kind of sits there, but as you can see, that's the whole front of the car pretty much done at this point. So now we're going to leave these, this section, and it's kind of, honestly, sometimes it's it's more advantageous just to take the arms off because they get in the way a lot. But this is going to bend down. You can see that there's a tab right here and there's a tab spot right there. So I'm going to bring the doors down just a little bit to get them out of the way. So that's going to peg in. And this one can be a little tricky, honestly. There we go. So at this point, you want to bring these in. We need to bend, I'm sorry, rotate these around so that those peg holes are sticking straight up and then you're going to rotate the fists like that and then you're going to kind of utilize that double elbow to kind of bring these in and you can see that there's a tab spot right there and there's a tab right there this can be a little tricky uh, just because you have to kind of bend these in as you go but they don't go completely flush against they kind of stay at almost like a 45 degree angle so you can kind of move this in and that stops about there and then this comes in and pegs in like that. So you want to kind of take this and kind of wiggle this down. Now once you have one pegged in already it makes it a little bit more difficult for the second one. So sometimes I like to just take the arm off and bring this in and just peg that in and then put the arm back on. Again you don't have to, I just find it makes it a little easier. But then it also can be a little tricky to get this pegged back in. So whatever works best for you, but once you have that all in there, the two arms will peg into each other like so, and then you can just kind of push this in, although now this is going to get in the way of the fist, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So push this in first, and it's a little bit wonky with the clearance issues, but... You can get it all done, I promise. <laughs> so get that in there. Push that in. There we go. And then you can just drop these doors down. And there's a little tab right there that'll peg in right there. And there you go. There is Scrap Hook in vehicle mode. I think he looks great. I really, really like this vehicle mode a lot. Now you can come bring these pieces back in. Hold on, this isn't... There we go. We can put the uh, wheel here on the back, like that, and then you can take this and just peg it into, you can see how it's kind of off to the side, so it's meant to go in over here, and then you just pop that on there, 
And there you go. There is your completed scrap hook. I like it a lot. Very Mad Maxian. Uh, very Junkion esque. Rolls very well. It's cool. And like I said, I appreciate that you don't have to like take things apart. Like, yes, with the arms, sometimes it's a little easier to temporarily pop it off, do what you need to do, and get it back on there. But you don't have to. Uh, a lot of times with the previous weaponizers in like Siege, it would be like completely take this apart, transform them separately, and then peg them in differently. I like that if you want this to just be a cohesive robot, you can. He didn't just transform from robot to vehicle mode without being a weaponizer if you don't want him to be. But he does have a lot of potential in that arena, so we're going to go ahead and start taking this guy apart. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is just grab a hold of this entire front section and just pop this completely off, like so. Put that off to the side. Then we're going to start taking off these extra pieces. Just unpeg all of these. And then we just kind of need to uh, unpeg the arms here, so kind of rotate this out. You can lift these up temporarily to make that a little bit easier, so lift this up and pop off the arms then you do want to push these all the way in and then you can peg these down now the directions say that this is a piece um that i guess you could give to somebody maybe as a backpack or something i don't really know what you would do with this <laughs> uh, it's basically the head and the like waist and thighs um i'm just going to put it off to the side and these are the pieces that we're going to use the directions give us an example to use it with armada hotshot so we'll take a look at that all right, so we're going to start by taking the two arms and just kind of straightening them out, putting this peg straight up, and then we're going to rotate that at the bicep 180 degrees. Do the same thing over here for this one, like this. And then we're going to drop these underneath, peg them into the bottom of the feet as shoes. So peg those on there like that. We're going to take the hood of the car and split it in half. There we go. Then we're going to take one of these pieces and peg it in. Nope, that's the wrong one. Peg it in like this on the front. And then this is going to peg in to this side port right there. So that pegs in there like that. And then we're going to repeat the process over here on this side. Now my shoulder pad for Hot Shot always comes unpegged on that side, but there we go. And then you can just kind of give them these little accessory pieces. Peg these on the side or whatever you'd like to do with these. You can put... This one doesn't peg in as well to the side. Um, because on Hot Shot, his little side spots are a little recessed. And it's not that big a deal with the wheel because it's just a straight peg but since this one has the flat panel that one doesn't work as well if you wanted to peg this in somewhere on the back or if you wanted to peg it onto the side you have a couple options you could do something like that or just leave it off whatever you prefer but yeah there's one possible combination with hot shot i kind of like these giant shoulder pads with the kind of like wings here with the exhaust pipes i think that's kind of cool also, since he has the Star Saber, if you wanted to put the shield on the other arm so you could kind of have like a sword and shield, that's kind of cool. But yeah, overall, I think that's kind of a fun little combo there. The other thing we can do if we take the arms and feet slash legs. Um, now this goes like this and like this. There we go. Straighten out our arms. There we go. And then we take these pieces off of the feet, put them off to the side, and then just kind of transform these back into the feet like we had them for Scrap Hooks Robot Mode. We can bring in the pieces we have so far of our Volcanicus. Now, this is a bit of a clearance issue. I'm very interested to see how this is going to work when we get the actual legs, because this thing just gets in the way of everything. Stupid sludge. I feel like they could have engineered this a ton better, but they didn't. Why won't you peg in? There we go. Alright, so we have to kind of just like loosely tab them in so they don't run into the sides of the tails. And then you can put the arms in here. So just to give you kind of an idea of height and what he'll look like. 
Um, obviously, we've seen Grimlock now, and the legs will be taller, so he'll be a little bit taller than this, maybe like up here, and the arms should be a little fuller. But just to give you kind of a rough idea of what this guy will start to look like when he is in Volcanicus mode. Right now, he's just kind of a squat little bruiser, which is kind of fun. Um, but he'll definitely be a little bit taller, and, and the arms will be bigger once we get the other four Dinobots. But yeah, I mean, not bad. I mean, he's going to be probably roughly... I don't know, some people are saying he'll be Voyager-sized. I think he'll probably be more like deluxe size. Well, here, let's bring Hotshot back in. No, nah, I guess he will be more like Voyager size because he'll be a little taller than this, and he's already a little taller than Hotshot. Do we have... Here's Tarn. Let me adjust this up. So, yeah, I guess he will be fairly close. He'll probably be... Uh, yeah, pretty close to Tarn. Maybe as tall as Tarn. Maybe a little shorter. I feel like he'll probably be a little shorter. But he'll definitely be taller than a deluxe, so maybe somewhere in between the two. I think Scrapbook is a ton of fun. Great robot mode, great vehicle mode. I love the way that you can transform from one to the other without having to take any pieces off. Yes, sometimes it's a little easier to do it that way, but you don't have to. If you want to think of this guy as just a cohesive transformer, you absolutely can do that. But the kind of weaponizer potential that he has is also a lot of fun. I like that he can kind of become arms and legs for Volcanicus until we get the rest of those pieces. And also the combination with Hotshot was pretty cool. I love this guy. I really don't have too much to complain about. If I had to nitpick anything, when you're transforming him into vehicle mode, you know, the arms, there's a lot of clearance issues. And that can get a little annoying from time to time. But it's really not that big a deal. But that's if I had to nitpick something. Uh, because otherwise, this guy's just a ton of fun. I definitely recommend checking him out. And I'm really looking forward to Crash Bar in Wave 2. I just want to, uh, you know, amass an army of Junkions here, which is really, really cool. So, love this guy. Absolutely recommend picking him up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.